Alrighty, take two of my last video of the year. Hi, yay, yay. I'm sad now because I had perfectly timed lightning from outside and I opened up this binder. Which is uh, this Ultimate Guard Quadro zip folio. But anyway, um, this is going to be my playback because I had my nieces and nephew over yesterday and this was left on my table. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, why not? This will be funny for the final video of the uh, year. But in this video, I'm going to be showing all my uh, rares I've pulled from um, my cipher boxes along with foils, or yeah, foils from uh, the two uh, decks that I got when they were fairly new. And I promos as well because I forgot if I showed the promos or not. But anyway, I'll get started with those. Hope you all have a safe and happy new year. I actually almost bought a box of Cypher yesterday, which would have came in tomorrow. But I realized, like, wait, I'm waiting for something on a website to be available. And there were other things. I forgot there was a Devil's Game tomorrow, too. I gotta go for... Uh, obviously, I'm gonna go to that, and you know, parking is killer. But yes, it's been raining all day, and I've seen lightning and thunder... Although you probably won't hear either in this video. And I don't even know when this video is going to get uploaded because internet is down at the moment. And I could record over 4G. It's just going to take a very long time. But yeah, I want to at least get this recorded. Worst case scenario, this is actually going to get uploaded the morning of uh, the 31st instead of the 30th. But um, another reason why I didn't get... Before I get into all the cards and whatnot, the reason why I also didn't buy a box is because... Uh, over the weekend when I bought my box of set 18, it said set 19 wouldn't be back in stock on Amazon until the 5th, uh, until January 5th. Uh, it turns out that wasn't the case. They're there. Or, or at least boxes with prime shipping. So had I bought a box today with the prime shipping, I believe it would have arrived Friday. But as you guys know, on Fridays I go to Toy Wiz and then Saturdays I go to Tier 1. So I figured... I can wait till next paycheck, probably buy all three of the boxes I wanted one purchase, and then have those ready to go, and then probably take a break from buying Cypher boxes. And I just want to buy those as soon as possible, because I really want to get everything in the binder, and the way I'm organizing everything, it would just make more sense, so. Uh, regardless, let me show, I forget if I showed the promos or not in the in the previous video, but here we go again. So these two are from uh, the first, actually, uh, first ever starter decks for the game. So we have Marth and Krom, and you'll see the foils that came from those decks uh, later on this video as well. Uh, but And then I definitely plan on buying the uh, Three Houses uh, starter deck, just because I love the artwork on that female Byleth, and I may or may not pull one from my... Uh, I may not pull an SR by left from my set 19 box and I eventually buy it. As a, I guess, spoil alert, she's in there, along with other uh, Three Houses characters. Characters Petra has a rare there, which makes me happy. Uh, she was my waifu for Three Houses for the longest time until, um, until I finished uh, my uh, Black Eagles playthrough and now I'm with the uh, Blue Lions, and I'm really liking Ingrid, so... Yep, sorry. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, Petra. Ingrid kind of took over. Oh, well. Anyway, so some boxes, instead of um, foil promos, you get these nice foil markers. They're actually fed out on eBay. Uh, they have a lot more markers than I thought they did. That I don't even think come from boxes, so that's cool. That Camilla would have been more fitting for uh, last week, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's okay, though. And then... What's cool is boxes also have uh, preview promos. So it's uh, alternate art car, uh, alternate art of cards that will appear in the next set. So here we have Elliewood, Sigurd, and Selif. I'm going to forget names. I apologize in advance. Like in my previous recording, I forgot a lot of names. Like I forgot Nana. And... Um, one of the ninjas from... One of the ninja-like characters from Fates, and I'm forgetting her name again. 
<laughs> but uh yeah alphonse fjorm fjorm however you however you say your name i always forget i think the same uh j is silent there's a uh, female byleth erica and Ephraim. i think i said this in a previous video and in my set 11 box but with set 11 boxes one of these two will be foil the other will not be there's my uh ike promo with the uh fourth anniversary uh Logo stamp, whatever you want to call it, on the top right. There's my second anniversary with Lelina. Then I have a Crom and a Mail Cord with the first anniversary. And I would like to buy a box that has uh, the third anniversary promo. Even if it has characters... Even if the games are presented aren't necessarily my favorite ones, I still want it just for that promo. And I know you guys are thinking, why don't you just buy the promo? No, I like opening the whole box. Add more to my collection. Because eventually when I do put everything in the binder and show that, ah, oh, it looks so pretty. Like, I bring this binder to locals all the time just to show off. <laughs> I usually don't flex like that, but when it comes to this, yeah. Because I take great pride in this whole thing and everything. Am I crooked? I don't know. I think I'm good. Yeah, I forgot Geralt. Forgot his name in the previous video, so now we're going with the rares. If you didn't see my set... 15, uh, 16 box opening here are the rares and you'll see uh you'll actually see all the srs when i show the binder uh hill day don't really like her ferdinand everyone loves ferdinand right uh, mercedes mercedes however you want to say it uh dorothea and i forgot to mention when i pulled this this art reminds me of uh, zatanna from the dc universe bernadetta uh gregor Pretty sure that's Gaius. I forget who you are again. Eins, Inns, however you want to say his name, and Tana. Yeah, I would like to get more three houses, though. <coughs> Was, is it set 18 or 19 that has um, the SR uh, Dimitri? I forget. I'd like to pull that, though. But anyway, uh, let me go with the rears. Because I have this ginormous pile of rears. I actually have to buy new sleeves for these because I want all these in Dragon Shields. Either the Midnight Blue, which is pretty much like a purple. Like, I think this is what they call the Midnight Blue. Either that or uh, in the clear purples. We'll see. Nana. I'm not going to forget this time. I'm going to forget you. I know I'm bad. One of the fan service -y characters, too. Let me just get a whole stack. What am I doing? Yeah, I don't have these organized yet. I'm obviously going to organize them after this video, especially since I now know internet's down. Oh, does that mean I can't watch anything on my Fire TV stick? Crud. Ugh, that's bad. Okay. Guess I'll just watch on my phone with 4G. Sad face. Uh, so, Ethlyn, uh, Cherchi, however you say her name. Oh, wait, there's a card behind her. Edward, no one important. <laughs> Zahark, Nyla, uh, Nephany. I want to get the R plus of that. Another Nephany, and I have two of these because I bought one and then I pulled one. Mariel, I believe her name is. This is one of the uh, starter foils. Same with this Frederick, and same with this Sully, and same with the Stall. Uh, Ike. This is either uh, April or Sade, I forget. No, this is set 5. It's probably Sade, I think. Because set 5 was... Uh, this is definitely Lance, right? I think. I forget the sisters' names. Is it Juno or something? Uh, Thea and Shauna? I think this is Shauna. This is Thea. I always thought her name was, uh, you know, but again, I'm, I'm bad with the, I forget, I think that was like her Japanese name or something, I, I forget. Uh, funny thing about this Luce, Lucia, it's actually my, uh, video game waifu and my Fire Emblem waifu. Yeah, this card has been in my wallet for a long time, so that's why it looks dirty and whatnot, I definitely have to rebuy it though. And I know we are getting another Lucia card finally. And oh man, the artwork on that's gorgeous. Um, 
on a on a Facebook page I follow, they were showing pictures from one of the uh, I guess conferences they had conferences or or whatnot they had. And they were like previewing artwork, and there was this Lucia one that was beautiful. And uh, hopefully that's a rare at least. SR would be the dream. Uh, if it was a playmat, that would be even better, but I doubt it. Uh, Lincia, Sari, Eleonora, I believe her name is. Sari again, I'm pretty sure. There's Nephany again, and there's Alincia again. Uh, watch me, like, as I go through the video, remember names of characters that I forget. <laughs> like, I wanted to say Hinoka, I wanted to say Sakura. Like, am I going to get closer? Probably not. I get her in Heroes often. you think I'd plus 10 her by now, but no. Because I have other characters I'd want to plus 10. Anyway, uh, I think this is li uh, Life Not Liar. Uh, Azura. All the way from set 2. I like... Um, not too crazy about this artwork, and I actually have these artworks on sleeves as well. I don't know if you guys remember when I did that deck profile for one of my Weiss decks. It was for my Sword Art Online deck, and it was these sleeves. I forget if I showed those or not. But um, what I'm probably going to do with my binder is go from newest to oldest first, just because I feel like the newer sets have a lot better artwork than the older sets. I forget your name. I'm pretty sure you have an SR, though, in uh, one of the sets I wanted to buy. That's Astrid. <clears throat> Volk, I believe. Kurth, Kurth Naga, Sigrun. She has an SR in a set I wanted to buy as well. Uh, Jill, I do have an SR of her. Perry. Is this... Um, is this Silas? I think. I have another card that's Silas too, though. I don't know if they're both the same or not. I, I mean, I don't know if that's him or his son. I forget. I forget who this is. I'm not a big fan of Fates, sorry. <laughs> um, what's cool about this is the artwork uh, goes together with uh, Flora, right? Not Fiora. Flora and uh, Felicia. I think this is Siegbert. I remember Siegbert, but it took me forever to re remember Nana. And I forget. Oh my god. Kagero, right? Is it Kagero? I'm pretty sure it's Kagero. Like, Wow. Just thinking of Vanguard made me remember Kagura. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's her, right? That was her name, Effie. I'm so bad. I think this is Ryoma. Is that Lobster Man? I forget if that's Lobster Man or not. <laughs> oh, man. This is bad. I forget who this is. I would have said that's Reed. That is not Reed. Um, I have him. In uh, Heroes, even though I never use him. Pretty sure it's Ryoma's son. Forget his name, though. My bad. Yeah, see, that this looks like Silas, and I forget the other one. I could be wrong. I think this is Ari's. Uh, Bridget or Brigid? Baruka, there we go. I'm like, I better know that one, because she was one of the characters I actually did like. Sadly, don't have a Setsuna. I like her character, too. There's Lynn. Pretty sure that's Anna. Awesome, she got an alt in Heroes, like, about time. Saizo, Marth. Uh, Garrick. <coughs> yeah, my uh, Sacred Stones waifu, it's always a toss-up between La Rochelle and Marissa. I'm always stuck between the two. Ein's Inns, again, however you want to say his name. Elliewood. Uh... Oh my god, Florina, right? I don't think I have your sisters. I like I I don't think I have Fiora. Um I forget who this is, Lilina. But I know that's from uh, Sword of Seals. Um Is this Deke, I think? Leon, I believe his name was oh, yeah, my, my favorite my favorite game of all time. You think I'd remember all their names. There's La Rochelle. Um, Lucina. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, sinister looking uh, May. No, that's not May, is it? No, that's not May. Because Valencia is not purple. I forget who that is. 
I believe she's from uh, Sword of Seals. Uh, believe it or not, this is Sylvia. Not too crazy about this artwork, though. I mean, when you compare this to how she looks in Heroes, it's like, um, okay. I think this is Finn. Are they both Finn? One might be a younger Finn, I think. I don't remember. Pretty sure they're both Finn. There's Murr. Not Impractical Jokers, Murr. <laughs> Ashnard. Better remember Ashnard. Stefan. He's so hard to recruit, but he's a cool character. I don't think he gets enough love. Krom. Navar. That's from the starter as well. I don't know why I'm blanking on his name. And that's bad. I forget his name. But uh, he's from the starter as well. It's been a long time since I played Shadow Dragon, New Mystery of the Emblem, and New Mystery of the Emblem. Uh, I better know Catria, one of my favorites. There's uh, Marth, Robin. I may or may not get this Robin sign, unless I pull a uh, SR or buy an SR, as, or not an SR+. plus. That would defeat the purpose of getting it signed, wouldn't it? But uh, Michelle Ruff, who I believe vo uh, is the voice, uh, who voices Robin... Um, is uh, scheduled to be in Anime Boston. I know one of the conventions last year, she was, she was also uh, supposed to be a guest, but she unfortunately had to cancel, which made me sad because I had my Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition for the Switch ready for her to sign the uh, cover of. Uh, since she voices Rita, and I always loved using Rita on the uh, original version of the game on the... Uh, 360. If I still had that, I would have gone that side. But then again, it's cool how in the definitive edition you have all the characters on the cover. But I'll either get her to sign that, or if I pull her by a Robin SR, female obviously. I'm pretty sure she voiced female Robin, not male Robin. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it'd be cool to have a uh, card signed by, by Michelle Ruff, and then I put it in a one touch. And uh, I know they use one touches mainly for sports cards and whatnot, but it would be cool to have a signed card like that. Put in a one touch. Eldinion, Gomi, uh, Berku. I must said Bucket. I always want to call him Bucket. Don't ask me why. I think that's uh, Delthea. Uh, Lucius, Ursula. I want to say your name is Lou, but I could be wrong. Saber. I want to say this is Conrad without his mask on, but I could be wrong. Uh, I almost said that's May. No, that's not May. That's Sarah. Jafar. I'm pretty sure that's Clive. Jenny. Valbar, I think his name is. I always forget his name, too. Uh, Linde, that's from the uh, starter deck. Same with this uh, Sheeta. Not that uh, Minerva. That's from set one. I obviously never bought set one, but I like her character, so of course I bought that card. And uh, I don't have her in Heroes yet. I have her... Uh... No, I was not doing the middle finger. <laughs> um, I have her uh, Summer, but not... Uh... What should we call it? But not her regular, which is weird. And those are all my rares. And um, the previous... Uh, playset binder I had wasn't bad. It was a Dex one, but I wanted one with a zipper. And I've always wanted an Ultimate Guard binder like this. I heard really great things about these. I love a lot of Ultimate Guard's other products as well. I actually prefer their uh, Katana Sleeves over Dragon Shields. If they made mini uh, size Katana Sleeves, I would use those for Yu-Gi-Oh! all the time. Maybe they do. I gotta do some research, but... For those of you wondering, for Yu-Gi-Oh, yes, I do prefer Dragon Shields. Even the non matte ones. I use those for Vanguard a lot. They've been pretty well for me. I don't get the appeal of white sleeves. I'm sorry. I just don't get why people are so fascinated by those. Like PC whites and KMC whites. Well, first of all, I hate KMC sleeves. Hate the feel of them. And Player's Choice, I was actually was partial to the pink Player's Choice. I just, I like the feel and the look of the pink. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to uh, explain. But yeah. 
One thing I definitely want to do next year is more rant videos. I know my cousins love when I rant. And uh, it's funny when I rant, too. Um, definitely going to, for real this time, really revamp my blog and start focusing more on that blog. And then uh, once I get the new gaming laptop, I can do my randomized Fire Emblem playthroughs and whatnot. And hopefully not have that uh, sync issue between the game audio and my voice. Which is why I put that series on hold until I got a new laptop. Before I get into this binder. This laptop is, what, six years old now? Yeah. <laughs> this is a Acer Aspire R15. <laughs> it was great when I first got it. I was able to play all the um, Steam games I had and whatnot. But you know, times change, graphics get better. And uh, I don't even think upgrading the RAM on that would even help it. Plus my screen's cracked, so now, you know, the touchscreen decides to have a mind of its own sometimes. So I'm in desperate need of a new laptop. Since my big project for next year as well is um, uh, rebuilding my gaming PC, which is going to obviously cost a lot of money, like obviously over a thousand, I'm probably going to get an Acer Nitro 5, uh, just because I don't need anything crazy for laptop. What I've been eyeing for the majority of the year though was uh, Acer Predator Helios 500 with a uh, AMD Ryzen 7 and whatnot. Um, maybe I will still go for that. I don't know. But, yeah, maybe I can just motivate myself to really save up for that. But the only problem is I'm also trying to save up for Anime Boston. So, uh, hopefully tax returns are good this year. I could say this year. <laughs> uh, this year, I, I mean, next year, even though it's going to be next year, either a day or two after I upload this video. But anyway, so here's what... Uh, the binder looks like. Obviously, this Geoffrey was not pulled from any of my boxes. That's actually one SR I pulled on my own. But yeah, these are my SR pulls. And this is what my front page of the binder looks like. It's obviously going to change as I get more and more boxes. Like, I'm not going to keep a space separated for um, set 20 yet. Because that's obviously months away since set 19 came out mid-December. Uh, but... Um, obviously I'll move this Lucina over, whatever my, uh, plus pull is, or if it's an NR again, that will slot right here. I'll put this SR, I'll put, I'll slot this Lucina over, and then probably all my, uh, set 19 SRs would round out the bottom here, but really do like the feel of this binder so far. Love the, uh, inner pages. And what's great about this binder it is, is that it is made specifically for uh, double-sleeved cards. They're going to fit a lot better than uh, single-sleeved. And for the most part, all my rares are uh, double-sleeved. Obviously, use a uh, perfect fit. I actually like the side-loading perfect fits. My locals are unfortunately sold out of those. I'm probably going to buy those in bulk, though. But, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys this binder when it's all full. Um... I don't know if I don't know if I should do the promos first, then the rares. I might do that. I might just do that. But like I said, I'm definitely gonna go uh, newest to oldest, and I wanted to actually record and upload this video yesterday. But you know, I had uh, you know I had my sister, her husband, and my niece and nephew over yesterday and whatnot. Plus, I was watching the. Plus, I'm like, all right, time to be disappointed by the Steelers game. And I'm like, oh, let's hope the Devils win. And they, you bet they did in overtime. Hell yeah. I'm actually going to the game tomorrow, which is also why I didn't want to buy a box because I'm going to need money for the game. Watch that game, watch the Lightning game, and then I'm like, yeah, screw it. Let me buy NHL 20 on the PS4. So, yeah. <laughs> that, that was, that's pretty much my Sunday in a nutshell. Went out to eat, went to the diner for uh, late, uh, late breakfast slash, slash lunch and whatnot. Tomorrow I'm going to... I don't even know what I'm doing for New Year's Eve yet. <laughs> All I know is the Devil's Game. Not sure what else I'm doing after that. Like I said, this particular video is either going to be uploaded at some point tonight. Uh, I don't really want to uh, upload it over 4G. Not because I don't have a limited date or anything. It just takes so long. So I'll wait until uh, our internet is uh, fixed and then upload it. So that might be later tonight. It might be tomorrow morning when I wake up. We'll see. 
regardless, like I said, this is going to be the last video of the year. Um, sorry and not sorry, it's a longer video, but I, I get too excited when it comes to anything Fire Emblem or just showing off a nice collection like this. It's like when I had that Ultimate Rare collection. Yeah. On the bright side, though, I am collecting OCG ultis, and I think I'm going to stick with that. I almost sold those twice, but I'm like, nah, you know what? Let me stick with these. Why not? Over time, I'm going to uh, show off that. Actually, that's probably going to be my first uh, video of uh, 2020. Going to be a short one, but I would like to show my uh, OCG ulti collection. It's not crazy big, but still, I have some nice cards there. And I found uh, some old ultis, like that DD Cry I've been searching for for so long. And that Harpy Queen, which I wish I found when I played Harpies. I don't know, maybe that will be a fun deck when uh, when the new rules come into effect. But deck I'm definitely going to build. Uh, Necros, which I'm in the process of building. Arrow Mages, of course. I know what I'm going to do to fix the deck. And then when Needle Fiber comes, it's going to be even more fun. And these guys are coming back. Oh, yes. And then whenever we get that war... Well, and then I have these two random violence. And then whenever we do get that warrior structure deck with the new gear freed, I'm bringing back equip warriors. I might bring back my psychic arrow mages. We'll see. But I still don't know... Other than X sabers, I don't know exactly what I'm going to play for new format. Definitely want to do something warrior related though, so... Yeah. Anyway. Now that is it for the video. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Sorry for getting a, sorry for getting Geralt, Geralt, and uh, Dedu in my set eighteen box opening. Hopefully with set nineteen, I don't forget anyone. But yeah, definitely uh, next box I'm gonna buy set nineteen, and then either set thirteen or sixteen was it? Was it fifteen or sixteen? I didn't open up fifteen, right? Did I open up fifteen? Oh no, it was either, yeah, it was, no, it was set 13, set 19, 13, and it's either 15 or 16. I was uh, thinking of, uh, thinking of opening as well. Long-term goal is to open up every single set of Cypher. We'll see how that goes, though. I don't know how expensive older boxes, though. They're not really appealing to me, though, those older boxes. I think one is. One of them does. I think it's maybe set four? I've opened set five, though. I believe that was my first box opening. Don't remember if it was on the channel or not. And then uh, I do want to show all the commons and un uncommons as well, but I got to find those again or just purchase uh, a set of those. Uh, obviously, I have the ones from set. Obviously, for whatchamacallit, yeah, obviously set 18 is all in here. Forget about my other boxes, though. I know where the binder is where uh, some of them are located, but... Yeah, anyway, this video is already as way too long as it should be. Hope you guys are okay with that, but last uh, last video of the year. And uh, yeah, I, I apologize for not really uh, much. What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, I, I apologize. I've neglected this channel a lot this year. If I honestly put the time and effort a lot of other people do to their videos and channels over the past... A couple years, I probably would have exceeded over a thousand subscribers a long time ago. But uh, for those of you who are still subscribed, thank you for sticking with me for this long. For the new subscribers, welcome aboard. Uh, and here's to a brighter, better 2020. Uh, probably with that ultimate, um, with that OCG uh, ultimate rare collection video, I'm definitely going to uh, discuss my plans for uh, 2020 as well. So that may be another. I'll try to keep that. Uh, Short and sweet as well. But no promises. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, as always, thank you all for watching. And um, hope you all have a safe, happy, wonderful New Year. And see you all in 2020. A.K.A. Wednesday. I work Wednesday, sadly. Yeah. But I go in at 2.30. So I have enough time to uh, record and upload a uh, video I want to do. It's going to be so slow. It's going to be bad. It's definitely going to be bad. It looks like they'll read quite again. And now I'm just stalling to make it 30 minute video exactly. Even though it means nothing. Because I don't modernize my videos or anything. <laughs>
Yeah, that, that's because of past issues, but yeah, nothing crazy. Don't worry, my channel's not going anywhere. Blah, blah, blah. Bye.